hello guys welcome to my channel thank you for watching my videos and make sure you share and like and comment let's hear what you got to say this particular video i'm putting up today is about a popular nollywood actress and a filmmaker Nse. in an interview she granted bbc pigeon she laid her heart out telling why she removed her womb that is hysterectomy the process of removing one's womb she tries to tell people exactly all she has been through in a condition called adenomyosis she has had which has been making life a kind of miserable for her and then she made that decision after much consultation with different doctors she made the decision to remove her womb yes i know it's a very bold decision it's not every woman that has such a heart to make such decisions a lot of people will continue to try and endure the pains and the agony that comes with this particular health problem but she made such decision because she wanted to be at least alive it's so much love her courage one for making such a decision and secondly for coming out to say it because i know there are lots of women who are going through such a health problem in their lives they are very confused about what decision they have to make they are very confused about what people will say society has a way of condemning women society has been saying a lot of things before you were born and the society will continue to say things even after you're dead i urge you now just latch on this incest courage and make whatever decision that you have to make and i so much love instead for sharing this particular experience because some women somewhere will definitely be encouraged yes it's quite depressing i want you to hear from her then before i come back with my own comments people they do bed watching i don't know say they, they do womb watching until i marry they they watch my womb for me they go they look they look they look if i chop belly food they say ah it don't they swell <laughs> some people they call me and say some they call me and say <laughs> but and see better which kind of voice center for that say some precious way we they get now we they carry put on top of ourselves and that's just the truth even plus the marriage there they see they looking like this and then you never born if you check them if you don't they come up and let they come up and let now you make no born i mean that there's been there's been new year's day when i'm not at home i've been in hospital and then you come out maybe a few days after five days after and I take a photo straight from the hospital and I'm very thankful. Someone says, tell your husband to, sh to, to, you know, his beard. You don't know what he was going through with me. So there are things like that. Then you say, go sit down. You will try everything because society, they worry you for picking. Then you go, go and go kill yourself. My choice was to pick life over a child I might never have been able to bear full term. So I had a hysterectomy as advised by the doctors. I can't get depressed. I know I walk again. I wasn't able to deal with it. I, I just swallowed in it. I, I suffered it. It, it. it was everybody just said and say it's okay. And that's what you need. That people tell you it's okay. It's tough, yes. It's difficult. There are times I still cry. After all said and done, I will have to get on with it. I have gotten on with it, which is why I'm able to talk about it. I think I got tired of people passing snipe comments and thinking it was okay to pass those comments on my page, which is my space. I can't know, and I couldn't have known that one day I'd be able to talk about it. I thought I'd die with it. I thought it would be my secret, and I'd say, we don't want kids. No, we can't. No, we don't. It, it, kind of cool but no I wouldn't be helping anybody and I'm, I'm thankful because and Clifford, Clifford looked at me and said are you ready I said I think I am I don't know what do you think he says I think you are so yes I am I'm ready you can actually face your fears and conquer them at the same time and so that's what I I chose to do and I wanted to do it with people who were more exposed to pressures not people who had perfect lives because social media does come with its pressures to the women just do you <laughs> really just do what makes you happy don't do it because people are going to look at you and think that you're a woman nothing nothing says if you have a child you're a woman 
Yes, we've heard from her. I know it is not an easy decision to make. And her husband, he must have been an awesome person to support her in, that, in such a decision. It is not an easy decision knowing what the society demands from every woman. Knowing what, what the trend is. If you're not able to have your own baby, everybody will be talking negative and talking you down. It's, it's really a, a, a depressive uh, condition for her. But one thing I like most about her is the, the way she's encouraging people to make whatever decision that you are facing, whatever decision that you need to make to be alive, please go ahead and make some decision. And don't think of what the society will say because you need to be alive to even hear what the society will say. A dead person does not hear what the society says. Yes, you will say I'm sounding like it's an easy decision to make. It is not easy, believe me. From from my the very depth of my heart, I know it is not an easy decision. And that is why I'm putting up this video just to let other women who are in her position or who are going through such a problem to know that you are not alone. And that is the reason I am even loving her the more. So that when other women watch this video, they will know that truly they are not alone in that struggle, they are not alone in that depressive condition, they are not alone in that particular position. There are other people who have been through what they are going through right now and being a very popular and successful actress and filmmaker and coming out to say it to encourage others say you are such a wonderful woman i have always followed your films i have always followed you on social media you are such an encouraging person you are such a strong woman i know thank you for sharing with us thank you for sharing with other women and if you're going through such a, a predicament please do not hesitate do not hesitate to make whatever decision there is to make once you have weighed the positives and the negatives please make the decision so that you need to be alive to achieve whatever God has destined for you. You need to be alive to show some people love. You need to be alive to be you. Please do not let what people will say discourage you. Do not let what people will say put you into depressive mood. Do not let what people will say decide what you want for your life. Please think about what you want for yourself and do you. As she said, be real with yourself, be authentic and do you. That is the same word I'm going to tell you. Be yourself be yourself thank you for watching and make sure you share just to encourage anybody who is going through whatever situation they're going through in their life it might not be a medical situation it might not be it might just be a financial situation it might just be a relationship problem it might just be anything any challenge you're having any struggle you're having just know that somebody has been there and somebody is there with you you're not just alone believe me you're not alone and believe me god is there to help you god is there to protect you god is there to lead you through and as you do so please make sure you share comment let me hear what you have to say i love this woman the more and for all women who are going through any health condition that is really keeping them or uh, making them miserable please go heal them and take all, all the glory thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe subscribe share like and hit the notification bell thank you see you some other time bye